Hello guys, this is Chipmate Jamie Serum at your service once again. So let's have a little bit of review about uh, survival technique in the event that we are going to abandon our ship. So we have three priorities. Let us remember, the first is shelter. So we must have a shelter. So what are those shelter? We have the lifeboat and the life prop. So that is the first priority. Then next, we have the food and water or the rations. So if we are inside already our life prop or lifeboat, so the next thing that we should find is the food ration. And then lastly, we have for the detection. Detection for possible search and rescue. Okay, so we are going to discuss about the third priority of survival, which is all about the detection for possible search and rescue. Specifically, we are going to talk about search and rescue transponder. Okay, so SART means search and rescue radar transponder. So from the word itself, we have radar. So, which means that we need a radar in order for us to be detected by the use of SART. I will be demonstrating how to operate this one, how to use this one, and uh, I will also going to show you how does uh, the signal reflects on the radar. So, the radar behind me, although it is off, so we have uh, two types of bands. When we say radar, we have S band, and then we have also X band. Now, this type of radar here, this can be switched from either of the two. Huh? So we have also the, another type of radar there, over there. As you can see, that is a Furuno type of radar. So it is only X band. So we are going to use that one uh, to show you. No? Uh, how does this thing works so how does this thing works so we have here uh, the instructions no on how to use this one so the activation part is located here no? so this is the activate activation part no so you have you have there on off and test then you have the pin so which means that if you are going to pull the pin it will going to automatically uh, be switched on okay so we have also this one this is for the antenna okay. it should be attached on our life raft or lifeboat outside no in order for us to be fully detected okay so i will going to show you no? so this is very simple just remove the pin so, once the pin is removed, automatically it is switched on. No? So, I will show you how to switch it off, switch it off, and then test. Okay, so testing is uh, for us to determine the uh, if the battery is still alive. No? Uh, okay, however, it does not transmit any signal. But for on, it will be transmitting a signal, okay? So that is uh, the simplicity of the search and rescue radar transponder. Alright, yes, just to be proper, so I have uh, sent no, uh, a message here in, on our AIS informing the vessels around us that we are going to test our SART. Alright, so before we are going to test the SART no? so uh, let us see no? try to see on the radar so we have a lot of uh, targets there no? although we have a lot of targets but but as you can see uh, it is uh, still clear no? because if you are going to if we are going to activate the SART we, we will see a circular uh, formations here no? circular formations here uh, later Okay, so I will just increase the range in order for us not to be confused later. Okay. So, this 
So we have six months. Right. So let us try to activate the SAR. Alright, so it's already activated. So let's see if uh, it has a direct effect on our radar. Alright, so as you can see here guys, you have there this uh, circular uh, formations here. We, this uh, manifest that uh, you have uh, no? you have a search and rescue transponder nearby. Okay, so in that case, we have there no? the search and rescue transponder. So again, we are we have informed the other vessels that we are going to test our SART. Okay, so. That's the very basic uh, operation. So that would be all for our video. I hope that you have learned something. Always remember the meaning of SART, search and res rescue, radar, transponder. So before I end this video, let me have a shout out uh, to one of our members of UC Marinos, second mate, Anjo Montero. So shout out to you. Yeah, hi, Paru-paru-ci <laughs>